The story shook Vanderbilt to the core and disturbed the nation. We begin with a high-profile case putting new attention on sexual assaults on college campuses. On this Saturday night at Vanderbilt Stadium, it was all business as the football team scrimmaged. Nary a word was heard here about the rape case. Corey Beatty and Brandon Vanderberg were indicted by a grand jury last Friday for raping a 21-year-old unconscious female inside Vandenberg's dorm room. Can you explain your actions? I was just drunk, drunk out of my mind. Uh, this is something I would uh, never do in my, my right state of mind. Corey, you were one of 13. Yes, sir. Right? You lost your father to cancer very early on. How old were you? I was nine. So you grew up through so much of your life without your dad? Yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, you just would be so disappointed. And that's what hurts, you know, deep down, because I know I let him down. What did he want for you? He had been coaching me my whole life. He was so strict on me. And then when he died, it's just like, I don't know. I just felt like I was on my own. High school, you know, everybody had their dads. You know, come to the football games. And I was a good player, you know. And uh, I just never had that person rooting in the crowd for me. You know? What would he have said if he had been in that courtroom and seen those videos, seen those pictures? I would like to think I wouldn't be in this position if he was alive, honestly. I just think a man needs his father at a certain point in life to mold him and discipline him. And I think I missed out on that. And uh, I kind of had to choose my own direction, you know?